I'm sure you know that an egg can grow into a baby chick, but only if the egg has been fertilised by a rooster. Maybe you've wondered how to tell whether an egg has been fertilised or not. Of course, if you don't have a rooster, then you know for sure that the eggs your hens lay are definitely not fertile. But assuming that you do have a rooster with your flock, or got the eggs from someone who does, then there's at least a chance that the eggs will be fertile. How can you tell? Excluding the use of some very fancy lab equipment, there are only two ways to tell whether an egg is fertile or not. You can let it be incubated or brooded by a mama hen for a few days and then candle it to see whether a chick is growing inside. If there's a chick inside, then the egg was fertile. The only other way is to open the egg and look at the white spot on the yolk. Let's take a proper scientific look at the anatomy of an egg. There's more to it than just a shell, a yolk and some egg white, although those are the three most obvious components. The eggshell itself is a hard structure made of crystalline calcium carbonate. The outer surface of the shell is covered with a porous coating called the bloom. The bloom allows oxygen to pass through the eggshell but keeps bacteria out. Keeping the bloom coating intact is important for maintaining the freshness of the egg. That's why we shouldn't wash eggs before storage. I have a video about that. Inside the hard shell layer are two membranes, an outer one close to the shell and an inner one that sits closely around the egg contents. As days pass after the egg is laid, an air bubble forms and grows in between these two membranes. If eventually a chick develops in the egg, the chick pokes its beak into this air bubble to breathe just before it hatches. The egg white or albumin is not completely homogeneous. It's thinner near the outer membrane and thicker near the yolk. But the most obvious structure in the albumin is the calaisi. These are strands of thickened albumin that extend from the yolk to the top and bottom poles of the shell. When the egg is forming inside the hen, it rotates on its axis as it passes down the oviduct and the calaisi get twisted into strong cords that hold the yolk in the centre of the egg. If you don't think you've ever seen any calaisi inside an egg, that's probably because they soften and fade away over time. So although they are quite obvious in a very fresh egg, they disappear as the egg is stored. Now we come to the yolk, which is encased in its own membrane. You might not have thought much about it, but you have certainly noticed the effect of the yolk membrane. When you fry an egg, it's the yolk membrane that keeps the yolk together in one circle in the pan. If you break the yolk membrane, the yolk runs everywhere. The yolk has a very high protein content, and its original purpose is to serve as food for the chick to develop inside the egg. In mammals and other animals that bear live young, the developing embryo is fed from the mother's bloodstream via the placenta. But anything that grows inside an egg has to start out with enough food inside the egg to last the embryo until it hatches. Finally, somewhere on the surface of the yolk, what we're really looking for is this little white spot. This is called the germinal disc, and it's actually the nucleus of the cell that could develop into a chick. An egg has this little white spot, regardless of whether it has been fertilised or not. If the egg has not been fertilised, it looks like a small, dense, white spot on the yellow yolk. If the egg has been fertilised, this germinal disc is the very beginning of the chick embryo. While the egg is still inside the hen on its way to being laid, the germinal disc begins to grow as the cells divide and multiply. A few hours after the egg is laid, there are about 50,000 cells in the germinal disc. It's no longer a small, uniform, dense white dot. 
It's now about 5 millimeters in diameter and it looks less dense, softer somehow, as well as larger. And the yolk immediately around it looks a bit darker. The whole effect is a bit like what people call it, a bullseye. Some fertilized eggs have a very obvious germinal disc that's easy to identify, while others are not quite so obvious, maybe because the egg cooled down very quickly after it was laid. But with a bit of practice, you should be able to have a pretty good idea of whether or not an egg was fertilized. Here's a few pictures for you to practice on. Have a guess whether you think each one is fertilized or not, and after a few seconds, I'll tell you the answer. How did you do? Are you getting to be an expert? Keep practicing and keep having fun with those chickens. Bye for now. See you next time.